Are you wondering how YouTubers are making those thumbnails for their videos with ease, with different emotions and all of those amazing little faces? Well, keep watching to find out how you can make those just as easy as well in five minutes or less. Let's get started. So first and foremost, you need a backdrop. So I am actually just using this projector screen that I got off Amazon, I'll link it below. This is going to be my easy backdrop. Second, you're going to want decent lighting. So I am actually in front of a three window thing in our room. So I actually have really great lighting where I don't need any external lighting. This helps save money. But if you don't have this area, then you might need to invest in some cheap lighting will work great. Or you can go all the way to the expensive kind. It really doesn't matter for this specifically. Okay, next, I'm gonna get a chair to position me evenly into my backdrop. And then I'm gonna make sure that in a solid neutral color shirt. I have a white backdrop and if you're always going to be cutting yourself out you're probably going to want like a darker color so that it's easy to see the difference and cut you out very quickly in your images. I am going to have my hair just down and I'm going to position myself. Okay now that you have your backdrop and you have your attire on you have good lighting now you're going to look up some standard emotions that you can take pictures of. So I am just going to go onto Google and search emotion faces. This one looks good here. It has quite a few different options. So I am just going to put this down and take uh, stills from the video that I'm recording here. Or if you're not having to do a demo video, you would just have your phone in front of you and have the timer going for three to 10 seconds, however long it takes for you to do that emotion and it actually take a picture. So the key too with these is you all like over dramatize. It's kind called like the YouTube face now is like the more dramatic the face is the better the thumbnail so definitely don't go little on this you want to be like surprised thinking you want to be like over the top that's what makes a good YouTube thumbnail also if you think about like your text right over here you can kind of like point like do things to the text look at it all that stuff and that helps make a good thumbnail as well okay I think that's good enough for you to get the idea so let's take those screen grabs and put them into Canva to make your thumbnail and show you how quick you can do it even with not having any designer or Photoshop experience okay so once we have our browser open we are gonna go to canva.com and then once we're on here we're just gonna type in YouTube thumbnails Okay, and then these are all the templates that they have. They have a ton, but usually it doesn't have the same name, but like this is already exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so this picture, so I am gonna go over to my thumbnails. I think that's what I'm gonna choose, but so this is the folder that I created for my phone after all those screenshots and just loaded them in there. So this is the one that I like. So we're gonna go ahead and download this. I'm gonna go back over to here, upload. Uh, it's already in there, but for time purposes and the timer to be accurate, I'm gonna upload it again. So it's uploading over here. Okay, so if you click on it, it's just gonna throw it in there anywhere. But if I hold it and drag it, it will replace exactly where that one was. So I'm going to fix that a little bit. Okay, and then now once I have it kind of positioned where I want it, I'm gonna go over to edit image and then go to BG remover, background remover, and it's going to process. And it usually does a really good job. You of course can do this in Photoshop and whatever else, but for the beginner and just for time, this is hands down the best way to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to crop. I think I want to crop it just a little bit more. Okay. That's good. Um, just a little bit more over here. And I think that's pretty good. It's obviously not common to have it already exactly the title of what your video is. So that saved me some time, but otherwise you just click on it. And so how to make YouTube thumbnails in five minutes or less. And then if you want to like go to elements and then maybe look for like a subscribe image. This one's pretty cool. Maybe that. So I do have the pro subscription. It's 120 bucks a year. But honestly, if you're going to be a YouTuber, this is hands down something that will be a really great tool to you. And then there you go. That's it. I think I should have been under just maybe over a minute at tops. But um, that is honestly all that it takes. The templates are so good. So I'm going to go to share now. I'm going to download. I am going to make it a little bit higher quality and then keep it like that. And then it just downloads straight to my phone. It's really that easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not already, please like it, give it a double thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be doing a lot more videos like this to kind of help make it more efficient process to be a content creator. And yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, comment below and let me know. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.